The glitz and glamour, it's the Golden Globes. The annual award show celebrating the best in film and television will bring in celebrities from all over the world. One of these celebrities may pick up some Park Rapids fashion in one of the pre-party lounges, as Mel Meyer reports in this week's In Focus. Kelly Ringer just started making her jewelry pieces in April. I just kind of fell into it. I wanted to make a little money to raise um, funds for a road race. She ended up not doing the charity road race, but continued her craft. I started out just doing um, hand-stamped, personalized jewelry, and it just kind of grew from there. She gets her orders primarily through Etsy, which she has previously used to sell candles. So I already kind of knew the marketplace and knew how to set up listings and it was just easy for me to just build off that. She uses copper from a Wisconsin supplier and leather from just about any store she can find it for a fair price. It's marigold flowers soaked um, in olive oil and that's what I use to oil my leather. She then lists her work on her store Chatter by Hammer. Because it was hand stamped jewelry so it was personalized people's words or names so I just kind of the motto was like your chatter our hammer. During the early summer, she became a member of the Artisan Group. The group selects artists to have their handcrafted items into events. Honestly, I didn't think that just because I was still new that my stuff would be qualified enough for the jury. She's been chosen for the GBK Celebrity Gift Lounge honoring the Golden Globes Awards nominees and presenters. I haven't shaped it yet, but it's an etched piece of copper. She sent and, in a similar um, bracelet for the event. Green. I kind of chose one with the green because it's the Pantone color of the year's greenery this year. But her work almost didn't make it to the group in time. With the rush of Christmas orders and thinking the pieces were needed by a later date, she had to quickly churn out the 10 items with the help of her children. And there it goes. For this week's In Focus, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.